God is not done writing your story. Can you think of a time when you hit a setback and you settled? Can you think of a time you reverted to what was comfortable instead of progressing towards what you knew you were called to do? A fisherman by trade, Peter knew a lot about life in a boat. It was familiar to him. It was a comfortable place. This is where Jesus met Peter and says, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people in Alaska. Later, Jesus called him from the boat yet again, and he said, Come. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came to Jesus. For Peter, stepping out of the boat looked like stepping out in faith. Imagine the courage it must have taken to trust Jesus now, to let go of what he knew time and time again. But even the most courageous can be shaken through the trials of life. Peter, who dropped everything at a moment's notice, to follow Jesus, who walked on water in faith towards Jesus, is the same person who denied Jesus in his greatest time of suffering. Losing Jesus, the person Peter spent years seven left him devastated, and out of that devastation, he made a decision. He returned to the boats Jesus had already called him from. Have you ever gone back to something you knew God had already called you from? Peter hit a setback and he settled. But this didn't change Jesus' love for him. And it didn't change the call of God on his life. When he tried to go back to what was comfortable, Jesus once again met him at the boat and called him back into his purpose. He went on to preach the gospel to thousands, performed miracles, and played a major role in building the church. He might have settled momentarily, but when he stepped out of it again, he saw that God wasn't finished writing his story. God is not done writing your story. Maybe you've had moments like Peter. Maybe you feel like you are regressing instead of seeing progress or making progress. But your momentary setback isn't permanent. Don't let it keep you from what God has called you to do. Jesus resurrected to resurrect us. He resurrected to restore us. It's time to trust God with your next step because there is more to the other side of your yes. Get out of the boat. Take a step of faith towards Jesus. Trust that there is more to your story. This is that. Then he said to him, follow me. Today Jesus is saying to you, come and follow him. God bless you. Have a blessed Easter.